Okay, I want to show you how you can try to restore your site, your GoDaddy site, if you were impacted with this latest WordPress Joomla issue. Um, you can actually res restore to a previous date before the, uh, the, uh, the event occurred. It actually worked on a couple of my sites. A few of them I actually had to reinstall, but I'll show you how you can quickly at least try to restore. It's actually a, a good way to start and try. So the first thing you want to do is click your hosting uh, account, your hosting link as soon as you log in, and then select Manage Account for the hosting account you want to restore. And from there, you'll be brought to your hosting control center. Scroll down and select Content, and then look for the, the File Manager icon. So click that. That's going to bring open a, uh, a view of all of your files on that particular site. Okay. So what you're seeing right here, you're in the current view of your current files on your website. So you want to click History, and that'll bring open a, uh, the option to restore some of these files. So here's the History view, and it looks like it's still loading. Now you could restore it, but we want to restore from a, to a previous date. Right now it shows 5-1, which is really yesterday. Click the calendar icon, and you probably want to go back sometime in April. So these red links right here indicate possible dates you can go back to. So I, depending on when this actually started to happen, you might want to go back to around the 17th or even the 11th, because I think the previous issue happened around the 18th. So you could click the 11th, say, for example. If you want to back up your entire site, you can do that. You just select all of the folders, or if you only want to back up, say, a specific directory, maybe just one. Now, if it's your blog, you probably want to back up the entire blog. So if your blog is in the root, back all of that up. If you have a, maybe a directory that says slash blog, and that's where it is, best to back up the entire uh, folder. So I select it, whichever one I want to back up, click restore, and a couple options right here. If you want to man manually copy over the files, you can just copy to a new directory. It'll make a directory called restore, and then you can select which files you want to bring over. Best to just re-overwrite the entire directory. And um, same thing if you wanted to rename it, you could. I'm going to leave that blank, so I just want to replace the video folder with everything uh, from the 11th of April. Go ahead and click OK. And you're going to see this error, uh, this, uh, this overwrite question, uh, restore of videos failed, it already exists. Yeah, I know it exists, so I'm going to click yes to all. Just means you want to confirm that you want to overwrite everything into that directory. It takes, say, uh, I don't know, about a minute or so. Once you've done that, you've now restored it to a previous version. Best to go in there and take a look at it. But um, you also may want to go back and obviously delete and reinstall all of your plugins for your blog. But at least this is a quick way to try to see if this resolves the problem. Obviously, restoring the database is, is, a, is, a, is a more complex way to do it, but it's also a way to guarantee that the site uh, will completely be reinstalled. So try that with the restore feature. It works pretty well. Like I said, it, it corrected a few problems for me um, on some smaller sites.